Hey, hey you want some more? more? You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. You know, my favorite scenes from the movie have to be the, the s'more scene and uh, you're killing me, Smalls, because that's sort of become people's, uh, you know, sort of favorite line of mine. So it, just because of how much it means to other people and making s'mores and things like that, it sort of becomes mine. You stick it on the chocolate. Then you cover it with the other end. Here, make me one of those. Yeah, me too. Then you scuffle. I, I think the, the most fun I had filming was there were two scenes and they're back to back in the movie, but they weren't back to back when we filmed them, which was the, the scene where uh, Phillips, the bad guy, comes with his you know crony team to the, the sand lot and we have our sort of back and forth um, yelling match. You ain't good enough to lick the dirt off our cleats. Watch it, jerk. Shut up, idiot. Moron. Scab eater. Butt sniffer. Yeah. Puss licker. Fart and then it cuts to me behind the batter's box and I'm yelling all the insults at him. Hey, is that your sister out there in left field? Naked? She's naked. Shut up, Porter! Those are my favorite scenes. I Originally, the insult scene on the sandlot was written for Benny, but uh, the director on the day said he wanted me to do it because I think Benny was becoming the hero and, you know, he didn't want his hero to trash talk, but he said, you know who could do it? Ham. And then uh, the next day was just, it was a lot of improv with me and the director. He had a bullhorn and he was just yelling insults at me to say to the guys, you know, like, is that your sister out there in left field, you know, uh, or, you know, whatever the insults were. And I would kind of chuckle and then I would read them back and it was a lot of fun. Just a little bit farther. The filming of the ball, getting the ball back from the beast was great because Every new scene that we filmed was the next level of like, you know, uh, craftsmanship or science. You know, it started with a broomstick and then went to an erector set. Opening. And then went to a va uh, vacuum suction, you know, apparatus or contraption. Issue your retrieval section number one now. <laughs> And it was really cool to see what the props department did to sort of, you know, make some new way of getting it. And we just had a lot of fun with that. God, he looks like a dead fish. What? What? This magic moment. <laughs> so Little pervert! Uh, what I remember about the pool scene with Wendy Peppercorn is Wendy Peppercorn. I mean, how do you forget? I also, we filmed that movie in Utah, and it was 100 degrees for three months every day, 95 to 100 degrees except one day, and that was the pool scene day. It was about 60 degrees, and you can see us all shivering in the pool in the movie, and Squints, uh, you think he's nervous to go kiss the lifeguard, but he actually is just shivering from absolute uh, chills. Oh, gosh, what I remember about auditioning for The Sandlot, um, you know, that was a long time ago. But uh, I was one of the one of the last, if not the last, characters to be cast. The callback was just to go meet the guys the next day, and, you know, the director said, you don't have the job, you have to get along with everyone. So, so I went, I was bigger than all of them, and I just forced them to get along with me, and it was great. You know, some of my favorite memories are actually recent, and you know, getting to see them again in the last couple of years, it sort of was like our junior high school reunion because I hadn't seen a lot of them in 25 years. You know, one of them was Tom Guyry who played Smalls, so it was kind of fun to see him 25 years later. And I think on the set, my favorite memories were just, you know, the the group scenes and like those the treehouse scene was a lot of fun because you know that treehouse was built from the from scratch and it was a fake tree even so. It was just kind of created for us and then the director would have us go in there and we almost had our own sleepover campfire night and you know we had the candles for the s'mores and we were making them and we were i mean we had to do about a hundred takes because that s'more scene we were just making each other laugh all of us and everyone was ruining takes and because we were just it was like boys around a campfire who is 
the most and least like their character. First of all, I would say, at least back then, when we filmed, the most like their character probably was me. I was sort of the loud mouth little punk, uh, or big punk. Hey girls. but also the defender of the Sandlot and that sort of thing. I would say the least like their character, well, the least like their character now is Marty York who played Yeah Yeah. I don't know if you've seen recent pictures of him, but he's about 210 pounds of pure muscle. And back then he was a little shrimp. Uh, probably back then the least like their character was, was Squints. Shauncey Leopardi played a, at least when he was kissing the lifeguard, he played a nervous, insecure little boy, and he was anything but. He was uh, definitely the coolest of all of us filming that movie. I personally like Lone Outside just like I like it. Stupid Lone Outside just like I like it. The Great Bambino, yes. I'm the Great Bambino. What? I'm the Great Bambino. I don't think any of us imagined that the movie would, would turn into what it has. You know, I think we knew that it wasn't terrible, because you kind of get a sense when you're making a movie if it's good or not, and we knew that it was good, but I don't think there's any way to know that it would mean this much to so many people as it does now. He's in baseball! <laughs> a tennis? Give me the tennis racket! Give me something to hit! Well, first of all, I think the movie resonates with kids because of baseball and that is America's pastime. Also, because we got out there and we were playing and we were out in the wilderness and or, or a sandlot and we were, you know, getting dirty and like Karen Allen has the great line, like, go out, have fun, get dirty. I want you to get out into the fresh air and make some friends. I don't think there's enough of that right now and there's too much of this, you know? So families like the movie because it, it it's about spending time together and friendship and brotherhood and inclusion and it sort of reminds everyone what all of this is really about, which is spending time with each other and not just swiping. I mean, swiping's okay once in a while, but you know. <laughs>